There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and ionium, erysium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, thulium, and thallium. There is yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolidium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, bisithromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There is holmium, and helium, and hafnium, and erbium, and phosphorus, and francium, and fluorine, and terbium, and manganese, and mercury, molybdenum, and magnesium, dysprosium, and scanium, cerium, and cesium. And lead, praseodymium, and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, and tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium, calcium, chromium, and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelevium, einsteinium, and nobelium, and argon, krypton, neon, radon, xenon, zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to harm. <laughs> Here's a cool development, there are now 16 more new elements. Rutherfordium, suborgium, tennessine, and livermorium, binarium, nahonium, organicin, and borium, moscovium, flaravium, darmstatium, and lorentium, rontgenium, copernicium, and dubnium, and hassium. These are the only ones which we have fully explored, and there may be others lurking out my back door.